Hey guys, it's Teacher Dad. Today I'm going to show you a little project that I've been working on with my physics class. And we've been trying to do something similar to what they've done on Mythbusters and a number of other channels, YouTube channels and other videos on YouTube. And we've been trying to accelerate a ping pong ball using a vacuum tube and then adding on to that a pressurized chamber on the back. And specifically for physics class, we have then been trying to come up with a method of being able to determine the velocity of the ping pong ball. So traveling how many feet per second and then translate that into miles per hour. So uh, I'll be showing you the process that we've been going through and then showing you some of our final results and hoping to continue getting that a little bit faster as we go along. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So the cannon is made with three inch PVC schedule 40 and the back section is six feet long and there's an end cap on one end and then a reducer down to inch and a half this is also schedule 40 and I have an inch and a half ball valve in the middle So at this end is a threaded brass valve stem and this is where the pressurized air goes into the chamber. And in the front half I have another valve stem here and this is where I attach a hose and a vacuum line which goes to a vacuum pump and then after putting the ping pong ball down the end a piece of aluminum foil and it actually ended up being uh, three layers of regular grade not heavy duty but three layers of regular aluminum foil and that gets duct taped onto the end so then the pump pulls a vacuum and once the vacuum is reached and the pressure that you want to use then the ball valve is released pressurized air moves into the vacuum chamber behind the ping pong ball and shoves the ping pong ball out the other end And here's some of our high speed footage of some of the different things that we shot at the beginning of our testing. Here's an egg and just for the fun of seeing it on a high speed camera. Here was a plastic one liter bottle filled with water. Now this didn't quite break through the bottle but as you'll see here it did actually leave quite a bit of damage on the bottle. Next we tried shooting an orange and although the orange didn't explode either it did do some pretty significant damage to the orange as you'll see here. And this one was probably one of my favorites. Here's a little mini sized can of diet soda and then here's a picture of the can and the can shows it actually blew a hole right in the side of the can so the next step in the process was to try to determine the velocity of how fast the ping pong ball was going so we started off at building a ballistics pendulum and I'll explain a little bit more here how this works but as you can see, the problem was that it blew the pendulum completely off of the scale of what we were trying to measure. So here the pendulum is basically just a weighted item and there's a piece of wood inside so you shoot your projectile into the PVC. It's hanging from three points and then determine the height at which the pendulum lifts and put that into an equation to calculate the velocity. But since we were having the problem with the scale, 
I decided to try another method where I would use the angle of deflection of the string and put that into an equation using the cosine times the length of the pendulum string. So from this video here you can see that there was 17 degrees of deflection. Now this was the equation that I found that indicated that the velocity equals the mass of the projectile plus the mass of the pendulum divided by the mass of the projectile that gets multiplied times the square root of two times gravity which is also times the length of the pendulum minus the length times the cosine of the angle and so the issue that I was having here is if you'll see all the way down at the bottom I was coming up with a thousand fifty five miles per hour I knew it was going fast but I knew it wasn't really going that fast So if anyone watching can figure out what I'm doing wrong in this particular equation um, and let me know in the comments, that would be great. Otherwise, I did come up with another method of trying to figure out the speed of the projectile. So I borrowed a chronograph from a friend of mine and shooting at 100 PSI, we were able to get a speed uh, 468 okay. feet per second and that speed converts over to 319 miles per hour so we decided we would try shooting the plastic bottle again and almost broke through it actually really bubbled up the side of the bottle but couldn't quite break the bottle yet so we'll have to keep trying there hopefully you like this video and we'll see you again next time <laughs>